<clears throat> okay, I hope this is working. Maybe. Hi. Um, I have a thing here. I haven't done this in a long time, so I've got a little agenda. Can you read it? Can you read it? No? Yeah. Hi. It says hi. It's my first thing. All right. So, um, my name's Angela, and um, I decided to go ahead and do a video because I've been thinking about it. So, anyway, I've done a few long time ago. I've recorded some and haven't posted them. Um, I like to do a lot of different things. Just I just think it's important to do things that you like to do. So, um, kind of like to to do stuff like this. I've um, kind of a one time a year movie director. I hate to brag on the analog film, so it won't be on YouTube. Um, so, you know, I have a history in the field. So that's, those are my qualifications. So that wasn't on my list, so I'm already failing. Anyway, um, the reason why I thought I would start doing it again, <clears throat> I don't know if I'll keep doing it, but um, I have been uh, really looking and uh, uh, involved in watching, not so much in participating with uh, reseller community, and they have a big uh, YouTube group. I've definitely gone down the YouTube rabbit hole with a lot of different things. I will stop doing that. If you can hear it, um, but uh, I started reselling about six months ago. I don't want to just talk about that necessarily um, because I like other things like cooking and uh, music and um, creating in general. So, but um, just what really caught my eye with uh, reselling type of activities was that it's just always been in my blood. I've always known about it. I've always wanted to start an estate sale business and just, it's just always been a kernel out there that I've not done pretty much anything with. So in knowing that I haven't done anything with it uh, and then watching other people who are buying and selling things either at thrift shops or at estate sales or at auctions or, or whatever, I started going, well, why don't I just try to do that for fun? I was working full time. I was enjoying, um, uh, getting started. It took me a while to get started. I put way too much emphasis in uh, how to do a template and my first listings were fancy HTML templates. They looked totally 1990s actually. Um, uh, but anyway, I started enjoying it. I like that, um, people like the same type of stuff I like basically. That was what was fun about it, is that I could find a thing that normally I've scaled away from in the last few years because I've always been somebody who people know me. They know that if they go out somewhere and they find a weird thing, their first thought on their mind is, oh, Angela is going to like this. So people deliver crap to me all the time. And so it's so much fun. Uh, is that I haven't really been able to do that because I have, you know, a house that I live in and it starts looking real Sanford and Son. And so, you know, you just kind of browse and don't buy a lot of things or you don't want to be a hoarder and all that, all this and that. So I think for me, the most fun thing about reselling was that I could buy rando stuff that I would, that catches my eye. And I know that there's other weirdos out there <laughs> just like me who go, hey, that's cool. Is that a, a wired cat paper holder? I would like to buy that. So anyway, uh, the reason um, I, I've been, just been thinking about kind of sharing my experience. I just think it would be fun. There's a lot of things that I find that I don't see other places. And, um, you know, I, I feel like if I... Um, do become consistent and, and I do become a little bit more part of the community that I can know more things and maybe eventually I can open up a local business or maybe I can open up a, an estate sale business um, because I'll be more um, uh, confident in my skill set or my knowledge there. So maybe and, and maybe it'll stay part time. So at this point, I'm definitely part time. Uh, what jump started uh, my uh, interest here and in, um, more about reselling or, or talking about it, I guess, on a platform like this and being more engaged in the community is that I was laid off about a month ago now, kind of taking a little bit of a, <clears throat> I'm not going to call it meditation break, but, you know, uh, felt a little bit chewed up and spit out. I will just 
tell you that. Maybe I can elaborate about it at a different time. I'm not gag ordered because I didn't sign anything. Um, but it was just a layoff basically. But you know, there is a definitely a story um, that everybody has anytime you're separated from a position. Um, you know, just the basics at the end of the day, someone else is cheaper. Um, and basic based on your company size, those things are a bigger factor, you know, for for some companies than others. So, but um, I was never, um, you know, totally happy anyway uh, in the position. So it's kind of been a good blessing as well. So I don't know why I said the word blessing. It's really not my style. It's weird. Um, anyway, there's always a good in things. <laughs> so, um, so I've been trying to scale up some on my eBay business. I've, I've definitely caught some, um, some stops along the way. I haven't d gotten my goal of getting my inventory organized. Now that I have the time to get my inventory organized, it seems like there's no time because somebody's always trying to incorporate my time doing something else. I am still, I am looking for full-time work. So, um, you know, I'm not necessarily somebody that goes, oh, well now I have the time and now there's, you know, some unemployment to help. Um, you know, it's, it's not like we're, uh, we're dire over in the household, but uh, you know, I, I am looking for, you know, full-time work that I, I believe that I will enjoy as well because I, I like, um, that type of fulfillment as well. So, um, that's kind of where I'm at with that. What I thought I would start with, I thought might be kind of fun. I kind of spoiled the surprise on myself. Anyway, I'm now at the point where I finally invested in a lighting kit so that I can take pictures inside, super hot outside, not comfortable at all, and I can only photograph in the day right now. So, and sometimes I'll photograph in the house by a window, but I don't necessarily have the right um, sunlight position for the best light, so, I take some decent pictures, but um, for the most part, it's been a real pain. And so I finally invested in a lighting kit. If I continue with this, I'll talk about how I, how I have done things and how I do things because I feel like I do things pretty much um, pretty, I won't say innovative, but effectively as well as pretty cheaply as far as overhead costs. So um, Anyway, my first lighting kit, I actually had uh, Amazon credit, so almost all of it except for $7 went on Amazon credit. I would, thought I would show it to you guys because I was so excited. I haven't, I don't even know how to set it up yet, but it basically came in a box like this. And I don't know why I said you guys, it's just me. When I go back to this video, it will be just me. That's okay. Hey, me. Hey. All right. So. Here's what I got. It's not that big. Does it say the dimensions? Uh, yeah, 72 by 22 by 22 centimeters. Does anybody know what a centimeter? I mean, <coughs> inches was too difficult. Centimeters, 72 centimeters. I don't know. Anyway, there's that. I was going to do eBay, but um, I didn't have card credit there, but I did. I was going to use my eBay bucks, but I didn't because I had a card credit. Um, so it comes with two light bulbs, two like square umbrella light box, light box is what I got. And then two tripods. I think it was like, ended up being 40 something dollars. It was under $50 um, in the total cost. So the first uh, thing was the light bulb. So when I opened this, I was like, holy crap, I've never seen a freaking cool light bulb like this that makes me feel fancy. Again, I'm not a photographer, but watch. What the heck? It's like Jurassic Park or like um, the fourth world in Super Mario Bros. 3. It's like that. Um, okay, and then it came with this thing that was all twisted up like this. And it is the light box thingy. So I'm like, what? Okay, hold on. Yeah, it's a thing that does this. Well, someday I'll maybe show you a setup. Me. Uh, okay, so here it was before it was taken out. Here's the other one. And then, 
Oh, and then this like handkerchief thing, which I guess is like to keep the light from having a glare. You put it over the opening of the uh, square umbrella thing. I don't know how yet, <clears throat> but uh, is that Velcro or something? I think it's gonna be Velcro. So yeah, it looks like a uh, puppy pad <laughs> that you just put over there. Now I did have like a, like a little light box homemade one out of cardboard which I'll probably still use just with this light. I, I was having to take it outside and I really haven't used it very much. I was just like, you know what, we'll, we'll just deal with the glare. Um, you know, cause you can't just like focus on being too specific all the time. Oh, and here's the tripod. So, yeah. So I'll get her rigged up at some point. That was super cool. It, it makes me feel like there's there's a reason now to get my crap in the right bins, inventory in the right place. Right now something sells and you know, I'm not like a, a clothing person, so everything's not the same. So it's unique enough for me to have like a spatial memory to know, you know, what shelf or what random pile it's in, but it's really bad. It's not scalable or, um, you know, it's not a, not a real business model to share right now. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. So um, that uh, the inventory issue is a thing. Now that I have a lighting kit, I really need to use the room that I've got inventory junked up in and relocate it to my garage or in a better place in that room so that I can use that room for photographs. So the next thing I thought I would do is show um, a recent, some of my recent purchases so you can kind of see. Um, I do want to get into clothes, but I have not been Sorry, I'm looking at my phone. I, I'm just not good at clothes. So I will buy them if I go to the Goodwill outlet because it's paid by the pound, it's 99 cents a pound. And so if I see things that look in good condition, um, then I'll pick them up. But <laughs> even then I have like a box of them that are, um, actually I, I have a, a whole like, it's like an old recycle bin that my trash company doesn't use anymore. It's clean and it's late lined, whatever. But um, Anyway, I have that full of some clothes that I photographed and then I moved all my photos because I take on my phone, moved them all to my SD card and they've like magically disappeared. I even plugged in my SD card into the computer so I could see the files spread out. I still I can't find them. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's a pain in the butt. I have to retake those photos and I just hate taking photos of clothes mostly because I'm having to do it outside on my deck and um, it's just, like I said, it's freaking hot outside and it's humid and you're sweating all over and you, I can't see because of the sunlight is glaring on my uh, phone. And, uh, you know, I get them inside and then I notice there's some blurry and this and that. So maybe this lighting kit's going to be a thing and I can do more clothes, but I'm just not comfortable paying full price for clothes at the thrift stores unless it's... Um, something that catches my eye and I have an example of that and you're gonna laugh because uh, that's, that's how things go. So I'll show you. The thrift store that I went to was on Monday and on Mondays I've discovered recently that they always have one color um, of their tags 50% off. So a lot of thrift stores do this. They have different colored tags and then on a certain week they'll have um, a color that's 50% off. Then on Mondays they also have another color um, possibly the color from the week before. I haven't scouted quite enough to know. Now that I'm fun employed, <laughs> I uh, am kind of noticing these trends a little bit more, but I have a second color that's 49 cents. Um, and actually, there's actually one item here that I'll just have to tell you, but um, and then I'll be done. I hope that's not too boring. What am I at right now? It doesn't tell me. So I hope I'm not rambling too long, but Anyway, I will show you. I pretty much only got 50% off and 49 cent items. And uh, here's one. Now, this isn't like a fun item that I would normally get. I have more fun things, but they have it here. It's brand new. And I was like, huh, I think I'll give it a try. I guess I took the price tag off. Oh, you know what? I remember it did not have a price tag. And I had to ask the guy at the cashier and he said $1.99. I said, sure, I'll take a chance. So I did that and I did look it up. I can't exactly remember the price, but I think it's between 10 and 14 bucks. So it's fine. Cool. Maybe more, but at least 10 and 14 is okay. Okay. 
Uh, here's this guy. I've already taken, did I take a picture of it? I think I'm, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, this was at uh, Goodwill actually. So I went to two stores in that same day and Goodwill was not that. The other thrift store was that. So this one was actually $4.99, but it sells for $18 to $20 plus shipping. It's, it's complete, phone kit. So that's cool, cool, cool. Okay, so this was, yes, it was the blue that day, was 49 cents, so I got some like Minnetonka moccasins. So, um, to scale back a little bit, yes, two thrift shops, one of which was Goodwill, which I didn't get as good a deal at, but I got a few things that day too. All right, <clears throat> here was 50% off. It was a skirt, and um, so this is not a, like a, a weird clothing item, but it's like a long skirt that <laughs> I just bought another one just because it was, I think it was like, you know, a dollar 49 cents or something. And it was long and jean skirt like this. And I'd seen another seller talk about like prairie and uh, the hair, um, modest for these like long skirts that look like you're, you know, Pentecostal or something. No offense, you are. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, you know the uniform if you do. Um, so this is a plus size long skirt and it was kind of a little bit out of my price range, but since I just sold one for like within a week for full price, I went ahead and did the 50% off $5.99, so $3. Yeah, I know what you're saying. $3 is probably not a lot to buy it, but I think I can sell it for between 20 and 25, maybe. It's, uh, what brand is it? It's, uh, <laughs> Zoe Beth Plus. So I did look at comps, I think. Um, I'll definitely get my money back. This is a good Goodwill thing, but here's an example of the weird kitsch type of stuff that I like. I don't know. It's a knot tying kit. 99 cents. Boy Scouts, campers, survivalists, you know, stuff that I think is fun. All right, man. Um, oh, here was... I think I've kind of parsed some of this stuff out. See, I'm not, I've already opened the light kit and I've already gone through some of the stuff so that you don't get to see as needed stuff, maybe. Sorry. Here's an old box. Yeah, it was $1.99 and it was 50% off yellow. Inside of it is organizer. It's got a bunch of buttons and stuff like that. <clears throat> and then a bunch of old thread. So this is going to be, I think this will probably sell um, <clears throat> pretty well for a crafter. Uh, I'm going to sell it just as is. <coughs> and I'm going to try to ask between um, somewhere between 20 and $30 and we'll see. Um, maybe if they give me an offer of 15 to 17, as long as shipping is included and fully covered, then I'll probably be okay with that just because it cost me, it was $1.99, 50% off, so 99.5 cents. Um, so that was pretty cool. Oh, here's another example of weird stuff that I like. Uh, <clears throat> the Shtick Hot Lather Machine. <laughs> it is from, I don't know what you're like, it's gotta be, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna guess. It's blue, so it's 49 cents. Um, which you say, 49 cents, get your money back, right? For this weird old shtick thing. It's like an old gift set. But it's selling on eBay for like 20 something dollars. Again, there's weirdos out there that like the stuff I like and, and these are my people. I am their vendor. So here we go, pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so the same model I was seeing selling, so. Um, <laughs> it's got like an old safety razor in the thing here. You see that? Yeah, so um, that's pretty cool. Uh, this is a good one, I think, but I do think it'll sell. Uh, I think it was 50% off. I think it was, so like three bucks. It was like a whole big American needlepoint thing, so kind of shied away from it, but then I was like, a lot of the crafting people like stuff like this, and I definitely think it's cool. Pretty cool. I did see some cell comps on there too, so again, between 20 and 30 bucks. And then, yeah, 
this one was Goodwill too. I didn't do well showing you all of the 49 cent things. I'm really bad at this. Um, Cause I spent like $9 and I got like a bunch of stuff. Oh, you know what else I got that you don't see that is still in my truck? It's like a complete fire fireplace set. I've heard those can sell well. I do see comps across the board. I don't think it's like super nice. We're going to be a high seller, but um, it was blue tagged. So I got it for 49 cents. So like, you know, the stand with the little, um, the brush and the uh, shovel scoop and um, poker, fire poker. Um, it didn't have the like log grabber. So it had three things, but it was blue tagged. It was 14.99 and it was blue. So it was 49 cents. And I was like, okay, I'll just walk out of here. Like I'm stealing things. Um, <clears throat> but this was a Goodwill thing. It was $4.99. It paid full price. I was seeing it sell for like $25, $30. It is silver plated on these like silver things. It's like a vanity tray. Um, so I'm going to try to shine these bad boys up. Um, uh, hey, crazy. Um, so I'm going to try to shine it up and, um, see if I can sell it. And, oh, uh, let's see here. This was a bad buy, I gotta say. I got a bunch of these hats, which they're all like trucker hats, this cool Hawaii hat, but I've been trying to sell them. I haven't been doing that well. I have like a gun club one, Dominic's Auto Parts. So I'm gonna lock them up and see if they sell that way. I actually thought they were 50% off and I had the wrong color until I got to the register. So that was dumb. I bought these cause they were 99 cents. I thought they'd be fun. I'll try to sell them. Um, cause they had a cool graphic on them. My fingernail broke, so don't make fun of me. Um, this was also good. Well, and then I have one more thing and that's it. And I'll get the heck out of your face. Um, a sweater. I thought it looked cool. Again, I'm trying clothes. I'm trying. I thought it was 50% off. And again, I got the wrong color tag. So it was like, I get up to the checkout and I'm paying more than I thought. And I'm going, she overcharged me. And I just uh, was a dummy and got the wrong color as the 50% off. So I sucked it up. I went ahead and, and bought it. So be careful. Um, so yeah, cool kind of sweater. It's American Eagle. Um, I thought I'd uh, give it a whirl. What material even is it? Made in China. So you know, it's quality. So sorry, China. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Do tell me. Uh, wool and nylon. It's fine. Yeah. So, uh, cool. The last thing was another 49 cent item from my other store. And that is, this is what I'm talking about. When I say, when I go buy clothes, this is usually what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes. And these clothes these stupid pants. It's going to be football season, so you're going to have dudes that, like, want these, I think, Zubas. Is that what they're... Zoo, Zubas. I used to call them Zumbas, but I guess they're Zubas. Um, unless the Mandela effect, man. I don't know. Tell me. Um, anyway, they're an extra large. They were blue tagged, 49 cents. I don't think they're vintage. I think they're, like, the new ones that have come out. Um, but yeah, they're in really good shape. The bottoms look really good. So yeah, all in all, I think that they will actually do well. I hate these pants though. They're so like ugly, but at the same time, I love them because they're so freaking ugly. <laughs> so um, I hate when dudes wear them and ladies, you know why it's gross. It's just gross. Um, I don't know why I said ladies, like, I don't know. Um, anyway, that's what I got. Um, I have other ideas. I, I think uh, next time I'll talk about things to look for when you get really excited at a thrift shop so that you don't get burned when you buy things. Maybe one of those points is gonna be make sure you have the right color tag. So anyway, that's my story for now and uh, I'm out.